Mehrabadi is home to thousands of people belonging to different ethnicities, different backgrounds, but with one thing in common, they're all destitute. They all lack the basic monetary funding that is required to move to a better place. Whereas Mehrabadi is home to thousands of people, to the privileged class of Islamabad, it is no more than a slum that is even void of the basic necessities including a proper sewerage system or the supply of clean water. If you dig into history, Islamabad was established as the capital in the 1960s, whereas the Capital Development Authority, entire land belonging to the residents of Marabadi, was acquired in the year 1969. It meant that CDA had to pay those residents and once the land became acquired land, it meant that it could no longer be transferred onto anybody else's name before being transferred onto CDA's name. It meant that people would now sell their land on stamp papers, get their compensation, move out and let other people come in but they could no longer transfer their land to the other people. Hence, they complete their transactions through stamp papers. This led to a few problems. The first problem was that people who sold their lands onto other people were either earlier compensated, and if they were not compensated, they still went ahead and sold their land. People have, people need money, somebody wanted to get their daughter married, they needed the money, they needed the uh, finances. So this decided that it's time to sell the land. This led to more complexity, as CDA now had to revise their compensation plans for the land and also for the construction that has been allowed on the land. So CDA compensates people in terms of the land that they take and the construction that has been done upon the land the party that the CDA acquires the land from has to be compensated for the land and for the construction on top of it. But till late, even though it is acquired, even though it is in the heart of Islamabad, it is now a central place that falls between G13 and G11. But yet, there are no housing schemes in between there are no proper regular constructions. Uh, Merabadi is either entirely populated by minorities or the very destitute tier of the society. Most of the houses, they even lack the basic security necessities. They don't have a door. They don't have windows. They may not even have a water supply connection. The entire locality lacks planning, provisions, basic provisions, immunity sensors, and overall, as the land cannot be transferred, there are no housing rights. In totality, the region of Merabadi sits amid the hustle bustle of the capital city. It is an active source of cheap labor and daily wages for the posh neighborhoods in the vicinity, but yet, in the year 2023, after 75 years of the formation of Pakistan and 63 years since the acquiring of the land by CDA, there has been no solution to this problem. The families, the destitute families, are now still looking for compensation. If they have been compensated, the land was sold again. What the people who took the land, will they be compensated?